Hi, this is Scott with Alloy LED. Today we're going to go through a video on how to install our brand new Anchor 4 mud and aluminum channels, which is great for a seamless installation in your drywall. Here are a few things you'll need for your installation. Anchor 4 aluminum channel. Anchor 4 premium lens. Wood screws to mount the channel. A screwdriver or a drill. Utility blade or drywall knife. Joint compound drywall joint knife, and ultra-thin drywall joint tape, two inches wide. For the purposes of this demonstration, we've created a mock-up wall, which includes drywall and two by four studs, 16 on center, just like a real installation. I went ahead and marked my drywall for the channel location that I want. The next step will be to trace the channel. And that way we can cut a notch for the channel to sit flush inside of the drywall. So I have my utility knife here. I recommend going over your lines lightly to ensure accuracy. Then you can go ahead and make some stronger passes to get all the way through your drywall. You can then follow that same groove with your drywall knife. Then you can run through the back layer of the drywall until you hit the studs or carefully go up to the edges of either side of the channel. After you've cut all the way through your drywall, you can go ahead and pry carefully your drywall from your notch. Anchor 4 channel features a countersunk hole every four inches for mounting to the studs in the wall. I'm going to take my aluminum channel, place it in the slot in the drywall. I have several wood screws here. I'm going to pre-drill, since I measured everything correctly, the countersunk holes directly above the wooden stud. I've taken a cutting of my Primaline 3 LED tape light that's been measured and cut specifically to fit in this channel. Primaline 3 is a great option for this type of channel as it gets used in combination with the premium Anchor 4 lens to create a zero hotspot solution. We added an in-wall rated lead wire to this LED tape light and I'm going to go ahead and fish this through one side of my channel behind the wall. Now this lead wire will run back to an accessible LED power supply. I'm going to remove the adhesive backing from the tape light itself. I can just start adhering this nice and centered in the LED cha uh, aluminum channel. At this point, if you'd like, you can go ahead and add your frosted premium lens onto the channel. That is if you want to keep the, the flanged look of the aluminum on the outside of the, of the lens. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And it does have a nice finished look to it. The remaining part of this video will show you how to take it to the next level and actually use drywall mudding compound to go up to the edge of the lens itself for a seamless look. This blue painter's tape is going to be used to protect the inside of the channel and the tape light as you add your mudding compound. The edge of the blue tape should go up to the edge that you can see you'll be able to see a ridge in the channel and it should go all the way up to the edge of the ridge as seen here. Next I'm going to take this mesh drywall tape and run it along the sides and the ends of the channel. All right. Really important, it's good to get 
the edge of the mesh tape almost to where you have your blue tape. So you want to overlap that on top of the channel flange. Now I'm going to take my joint compound and we're going to take this and feather it up against the edges of the channel. The joint compound has dried and I'm going to take my hand sander and I'm going to go ahead and smooth out any inconsistencies in the, the mud. Now I'm applying a coat of primer and paint. Let's remove the blue painter's tape from the channel. Now I'm going to go ahead and add our premium Anchor 4 lens. And that's it, we're all done. Thanks for watching this video on how to install Anchor 4 mud in channels from Alloy LED.